Come on then, Scylla. Scylla the Musical is essentially a love story. It shows the relationship between Scylla and Bobby. Um, also Brian Epstein, who is her manager. Um, and it's a real showcase, a real good feel-good showcase of the 60s era and the music celebrating all of that with the Beatles, um, Scylla's hits, um, also Jerry and the Pacemakers. Um, it goes to America as well and shows uh, the Mamas, Mamas and Papas with California Dreaming. Um, it honestly is, like, it's got such heart. It's in situ very much so, you know, she is in the cavern and we are watching her. It's not a musical where you kind of sing your thoughts at one another. I think that it's it's got a lot of elements of real life to it. It's really gritty, it shows the ups and downs. I think this is real life, real working class Liverpool and people really working hard to make something of themselves. And that, I mean, Stella did that. She made something of herself because she was so determined. The first night, like in Liverpool, when we put this on in Liverpool and we, we played and the rush, you could just hear the rush of people getting up off their seats to, to applaud us was something else. I mean, you took hairs on end, like all on, standing up on the back of your neck. And I think that was the moment that we all looked at each other and we thought, we we're a part of something really special here. So sometimes it can be, it's the silence that's exciting. You know, we have moments where when Cara finishes singing, it is just silent and everyone's like, oh, just as much as at the end when everyone stands up and is dancing and singing, you know, they're opposite ends of the spectrum, but they're both equally as thrilling. If I was to take one song from this show, I think I would take anyone who had a heart. I mean, anyone who had a heart, obviously it's iconic. Everyone kind of connects that with Scylla and it was one of their greatest hits. Um, it ends act one and that moment again is another moment where all your hairs kind of stand on end. I have the the wonderful um, job of, of watching Cara Lily Hayward, who plays Scylla, sing that every night and it never ceases to ceases to amaze me. We love the Norwich audience and um, they're really responsive. So this show kind of as it moves up and down the country, the audiences really differ and it's really exciting for us. And Norwich was actually a perfect balance, you know, it was they they laughed and they clapped and they danced and it was it was a great audience. We were all saying we're really excited for the rest of the week because it's it really has connected here and that's lovely. Stop inside.